Okay, guys. <laughs> this is the the Adreno DUE board. A DUE or DUE, whatever you want to call it. And for like a day and a half, it been bugging me because I bought this board for a project. And um, I wanted to run, I want to use my, I want to use this to run this jet engine. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got this thing closed for me. So I'm going to run it, I want to run the pump, run this, uh, run this uh, RPM sensor, and, um, and this temperature probe. So I'm going to try and see if I can do it with this. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be going to work, but that's my attempt. But first, the problem I run into is <clears throat> about this um, this uh, this LCD, which is a I2C type of um, display. I didn't know it was going to be a real task. This is the company that make it. Same smart. This is a twenty by four, and um, it used this little multiplex, or multi yeah, multiplex controller. What it does it? The old the one I see on the internet is you wire all these pins to the board. This one does use two pins, and they use this board to to actually um, jump in between these pins while it's getting data. So it's hopping between these pins while it's getting data. So you get the same result with four pins. Four, that's two wires. So that's the good thing about it. Problem is with this board is it, it have the um, it have the, 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 uh, the ports for it, which is a, uh, let me see what it is. Um, it's called a, uh, SCL and a DCL. The DCL is um, I'm uh, sorry, SDA is a data in, and the um, and the SD and the SCL is a clock. So that's I guess that's a timing for the chip to hop between these pins, and the other one just put data while it's hopping or assign data while it's hopping. That's all I understand. I'm not sure if that's that's the way. If anybody else knows any better, can put a comment. Okay, I've been searching the whole internet for this um, for the for a setup for this thing. I've even gone to the Juno forum, and most of these guys have the 16 by two or something like that. But nobody have this type of uh, setup, and most of the information I'm getting. I'm not really following it. Probably there, but I'm not following how they do it. So, what I did, I go on the internet and um, I'll show, give you an idea what I find. Um, I make it work. <coughs> okay. The website I went on <laughs> that really worked for me is. Uh, it's the uh, where it is, where it is, the DF robot or robot dot com, and uh, their library work real good. The other one worked, but it just it, it, the backlight wouldn't come on, all kind of crap. But this one worked flawless. But it have it problems, and it's not because of them because. Who's ever sold me this from the I guess I get it from eBay or um, Amazon didn't give much information so there is a there is a, a um, what do I call this data right here address that you need to let me see if I can zoom in Um, where is this? Okay, there you go. This address is for the um, it's for the, the the controller that's on the LCD, and 
the one that's on the, their website is for uh, um, 27 address 27 for that controller they you for that LCD they're using this one is a different address this one this address is a zero X um, three F and um, Oh, the hell? I, I forgot how I find all that. I think I dig some more and found all that. That's that's what the information is. So, if you haven't seen problem, same brand, the same smart 20 by 4 by 2 or 4, sorry, by 4 or 2 in one. Still, still kind of new. To, I'm more audio kind of guy. Go to this website. This is um, D D F Robot 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 and then go to this click on this um sample code library and it's going to ask you to to um copy it which i did so i won't do it again but right down here you can see where it it's actually um trying to copy it to your computer so let me jump from there and show you what you have to do. Okay, so after you, you download this um this fold this zip file, you know create a just create a a folder on your desktop. You see mine's full, and um, this is the actual folder when I unzip it. Okay, so this is the content of the um the code that's in there so this is going to be what you download okay the, the next step is uh, it's going to be tricky you're going to copy this okay and then, then copy i guess everybody know to do that when you copy it you're going to go to your your c drive and you're gonna look for a program file. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Hopefully I get that right. Click on the program file. Then you go to your Adreno folder. Then you go to library. Then what here, this is the library that it comes with. This is what comes standard with the Adreno, okay? All right, you cannot copy it in there, so you're gonna create a second um, folder. You can go up to here, and then I'm, I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But I'm just gonna give you an idea. Create. Uh, let me do it just in case somebody just want to help. You create this folder. All right. You continue. It's gonna create a folder. And then when you go in there, you're gonna name it um, Liquid Crystal with a big C or a capital C. Then you go and right click and paste. Continue and it paste it. Once it paste it, then you, I'm gonna delete this now. <laughs> okay, so once it paste it, you are going to um let me make sure i delete this thing before it create a problem and if you already did try so you come up with an error so let me try and get rid of it for going further all right okay so that worked now you'll go back to your icon adreno icon Okay, this thing is um, creating a problem. Let me pause and then. Okay, yeah. So <coughs> just delete that file. I was giving it problems, creating problems. Anyway, all right. So um, if you if you try different programs and it didn't work and you're getting errors during um, what do you call it compiling. Sometimes you have to uninstall the IED. And then I've done that and I still see a problem. So what I did, I go in I have to go into um 
I have to go into my documents our documents and then there's another file there you have to delete this old thing remove this plus uninstall and reinstall if you're having problems because um, if you try to install different different drivers and it, it comes up and see these drivers and you're gonna you don't know which one is good and which one is bad so you create a lot of error so that's that's all what you do all right all right back to um, installing the, the LCD so um, after you install that you you create a second file name it um, liquid crystal 2 I forgot to tell you put it make it sure it say 2 then you go to you go to um, example and you'll see two here the second file that you, you did right here so that's how that worked okay or you can go to sketch go to import library and you'll see two if you don't see that do it all over again or rewatch the video and it'll you'll you'll see it all right now to get this thing working <coughs> back to the hardware that's the software now to the hardware okay <coughs> on the adreno board right there is a pin i don't know if i can see it here there is a pin at the bottom so if you look at the schematic at this very corner you're gonna have SDA and SCL. SDA is data. SCL is the clock. It's actually the same thing on this on this um on this display. All right. So you make sure connect. If the if the my yellow wire is saying SCL, which is the clock. I think I might say it different. <coughs> I look for the SEL here and the clock is the first one the first pin okay the second pin go to SDA which is orange and um, you connect it there okay SDA SDL so yellow is S SCL which is the clock on on my um on my LCD board and the other one so both of them is connected properly okay the second connection is the power make sure you get this right the far left hand pin or the connection is the brown wire which is ground and the next the one next to it is VCC which is 5 volts so the ground is going to the ground pin on here so the ground pin is this one right here Am I focusing properly? I'm not sure. Hope I hope it do. Okay, so I connect my ground pin. The second pin is my five volt VCC that's next to the ground. Okay, so I'm going to connect it to. So that's it. Nope, sorry. Yeah, just looking. So yeah, my VCC is connected. <laughs> The brown is ground, the red is VCC5, and my pins are, my data pins are connected. Um, okay. All right. Um, next step. Okay, you turn it over and make sure it's not touching anything. That's a short. I, do, I work on the carpet, so zoom a little. I'm going to plug my, <coughs> my data card in my power cable USB and the one closest to your jack the one closest to your your power jack is the one you need to plug it into which is on the other side it's a programming cable so plug it in there make sure it's a programming cable okay I don't even say that. Plug in my power. It comes up blank, but the screen, you can see that power is in there. Now I go to my software now. 
and I'm going to go to uh, go to my icon, my Arduino icon. Bring it up. Then go to the file. Then go to sketch or example. Yeah, so after you go into um, your uh, your sketch, you're gonna look. You're gonna see. Uh, you're gonna, uh, example, sorry. You're gonna see um, the file that you just created, which is um, which is Liquid Crystal Two. Okay, so you bring that up, and it always comes with the example "Hello World." All right, and um, now <clears throat> one thing I noticed: it there, um, his file comes default with at his address is twenty-seven. So I changed that from twenty-seven to mine. Uh, my LCD is um three F, which is the reg registry. That's that's on the um, the LCD, and um, and then you uh, you we call it you upload to your card to your your board, <coughs> and you'll see it communicating. You'll see these lights flashing here. There you go, and that means it's talking to the board. Or um, communicating and shake, whichever one. The screen's like that still, so when it's finished updating it, it's gonna flick. And there you go.